Hello everyone, my name is Dak Hazard, and welcome to the Destiny Beta. Random, I know, came out of fucking nowhere, but uh, yeah. So I've already played this quite a bit, I've put uh, several hours into it, and in the beta you can only reach uh, level 8 I think it is, so I'm quote unquote max level, even though obviously the real game will have significantly more than that. But uh, yeah, so i played it for a bit. And I figured I'd do a video on first impressions that I had. And a couple of things that I like about it. A couple of things that I don't like. Obviously this is only a beta. And I will keep that in mind. But uh, <clears throat> but for the most part. Um, like this is the game. Once it's, I mean, once it's in beta. Most of it's already done. Exclusive beta reward. <laughs> That's in a couple days. Whatever. Alright, so, when you first start the game, you get, a uh... Yeah, let's go to the hub area real quick. Yeah, so when you first start the game, you get resurrected by a little floaty dude. I think they're called ghosts, or some shit. But, uh, yeah, basically, storyline, storyline, and you come to this place. So right now, you can only go to, uh, <clears throat> one big area. Well, obviously, you can go to the hub area, which is where we're going to. And you can go to the, uh, other the the main area that you do like all your questing and shit in. All right, so for anyone that doesn't know, beta is a very strange hybrid. It's similar to Borderlands where it's kind of it's like open world but not and it's RPG-esque but not and, but it, and it and it's a shooter. I don't know, it's strange. It's it's hard to quantify and put into words. But, uh, and for whatever reason, this is the only place that you are in third person. Which is very, very strange. Alright, so this is the hub area. So this is where you come on their first, uh, when you first get here. And let me show you around. So this motherfucker over here, the, uh, the Crypt Dark. So for some reason, alright, so I, I'm gonna go over a couple, like, uh, oh, what the fuck's the word I'm looking for? Mechanics in this game. So, every now and again when you kill enemies, they drop loot. You get these encoded things, whatever. Like, they'll show up at the bottom and they're like, Hey, you can you can uncrypt them, or decrypt them. Wow, I'm intelligent. Yeah, so, and what it does is it gives you a random piece of armor. See, it even says, Encoded matter engram. Cryptarch can decode this into a piece of armor. So, you find this shit all over the place. But it's weird because it doesn't cost anything. You actually get experience for Uncrypting or decrypting shit. Wow, I'm gonna. I'm, no, I'm just gonna say uncrypt. No, that's 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 my new word. So yeah, you get uh, you get points for uncrypting things, which is strange, but it doesn't cost anything. It's it's odd. It's very odd. This is the uh, yeah, these are quartermasters. Handler, yada yada. So crucible is the PVP area, yada yada yada, and uh, this is where you. This is like your main hub, dude. So there's the titans. Oh yeah, three classes. So the Warlock, Hunter, and Titan. I'm a Titan. So, whatever. <clears throat> and this guy gives you all your, like, main story quest when you start out. And you can buy random shit from him. I don't know why you ever would, but you you can do it. Like, obviously, this stuff is, like, the maximum shit. Which is a little... If you notice, it says requires level 20. And that's... That's a little concerning, because that means max level is only 20. Eh... It only took me a couple hours to get to 8, so 20 isn't that... Yeah, eh. I really hope they have a higher level cap than 20, because that would be pretty rough. <clears throat> if you, like, just start the game and go straight into endgame within, like, I don't know, like 10 hours of play. That's that's not an RPG. I don't, I don't know what that is, but it's not an RPG. Alright, regardless. I'm going to go into uh, this screen. Alright, so this screen is your inventory screen. But it's also your ability screen. Okay, can you... Alright, just from looking at this, can you tell where the abilities are? It'd be like, I don't know, maybe like this down thing? But no, this is equipment. It's like, but what's all this stuff? It's here. And, it, and you don't hit A. You don't hit A, you hit Y. You know, Y as in the details of like all your guns and shit. Like, why, why is this a thing? And th like, this is your... This is your pseudo skill tree. I call it that because it, it kind of is. Alright, so for the most part, 
you you don't have any of this shit unlocked except for well, you don't have any of it unlocked but the first thing you get is your flashbang and then it goes along here so the idea from what this looks like is that like obviously these things that have arrows <clears throat> it's like the more you use this you get this yeah and that that's all fine and happy I was obviously like the more you punch things then you, bam hits with hits hits with the super punch have have a chance to immediately set it reset it that's cool and all but this shit this shit's annoying so this isn't connected to this this is its own thing and it has the progress bar but this progress bar is completely dependent on your level not not the experience that you get with it it's dependent on your fucking level so why is it a progress bar it's it's like they're trying to hide the fact that you that you're going to unlock this at like level 9 or some shit or level 10 whatever but like why it's so dumb I don't know, why, like if I go all the way down here, oh wait, no, th this this shit's all like that. But I mean, like this stuff, it's like, why can't this be, like these things? Why can't this be like unlocked at level forty or level twenty? Why 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 do they do this? Why why did you do this? I don't know. I don't like it. Plain and simple, I don't like it. That, that's obviously my opinion. So don't whatever. Don't flame me for my own opinion. Cause fuck off. All right. Enough of that, about that bullshit. Let's get into weapons. So you have, it has a weird three three weapon systems. You have your primary, you have a, a special weapon, and then you have a heavy weapon. So your primaries consist of four weapons at the moment. Where So we have auto rifles, you have a scout rifle, which is a semi-auto. You have, a, where is it, this guy. You have pulse rifles, which are bursts, and then you have hand cannons, which are revolvers. There's nothing that's all it has right now. It's it's a very strange combination. You'd think they have they would have like a regular like pistol in this, like a heavy pistol. Not, I don't know. Revolver is kind of cool, but I don't know. Just like it's like hey, rifle, 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 magnum. <laughs> I don't get it. There's no SMGs or anything like that, which is also very strange. All right, enough about that bullshit. So I believe the special weapons are class dependent. Actually, I believe these might be class dependent as well. <clears throat> I'm not entirely positive, but uh, cause this is the only class I've done. I've yet to. I'll probably make another class just to dick around with it. But so, for special weapons, from what I can tell, there's only two for this class. There's a snipper and a shoddy. Now, both of them are cool. They're fun to use. Yada yada yada. That's all. That's all you get. And uh, for heavy weapons, you have a rocket and you have a light machine gun simple as that i do kind of like this system right here how it's like you hover over it and then it gives you options like all this stuff but i really wish if you could hover over this you could control it with like the d-pad and then it would auto lock on the shit rather than having to use the cursor because there's cursor I, I, this obviously wasn't designed with console in mind this was designed for a mouse to be used which is strange because it's usually the other way around but yeah it's interesting nonetheless Alright, so... Wow, that's a lot of fucking people. Alright, so let's go to orbit. Uh, also, this is annoying. Yeah, I, you have to hold Y for a stupid amount of time to actually get into orbit. Like, you could have just had, like, a two-second... Or a one-second hold or, like, a double tap. You know, so people wouldn't... It, that still solves the problem of people not hitting it often, but it's not as annoying. Minor complaint. Don't bother with me. Alright. <clears throat> so, you can go here... I'll probably do a match later on. So yeah, that's the Crucible. That's all the PvP shit. And for, this is the only area you get. Alright, so when you first get here, this is, uh... Obviously, this is the map. And you get to start, uh, here. Yeah, you the level's two-story, and then it progresses over here to the three-story, to the five-story, or to the four-story, then the five-story. And this is just an optional thing you can do later. Um, so for these ones, it's basically... Um, it's just all story shit. It's like, hey, you're doing this. And it, and it has, like, a... Uh, what the fuck am I looking for? It has a, a use to it, you know? Like, it, uh, there, there's a point. But the cooler thing is that you can just do this. So you can go to the... So that's what I'm going to do right now. So you can basically just pop into the explore mode, and the, it's exactly as you sound. You're just dropped into the area, and you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can just dick around, you can blow shit up, and you or you could help other people, because other people are there. 
that that's where this kind of weird like MMO type of deal comes in because there are when I get in here you might see other people I I, di I wouldn't I didn't say should <laughs> because I might look like an asshole but you might see other people and they'll just be roaming around doing their own thing they could be on a mission you know they could be on a mission doing whatever oh perfect well, there's let's a dude see what we can turn up there's a dude right there like bam all right so for the most part this game is very pretty <laughs> like it looks nice like that the fucking backgrounds over there like that looks like a real model even though you can't even like get to it like it, everything just looks really fucking nice and it's obviously it look like 10 times better on computer but regardless this still looks pretty good texture quality is pretty shit but uh for the most part all the scenery looks nice the water looks fucking fantastic I, I will say that water looks fantastic but uh yeah so this is just free mode you know there's a man there's another man right there he's shooting stuff he's having a ball <clears throat> ah enemies perfect or I thought I saw something over there all right regardless all right so I'm gonna go through all the main weapons and uh show you what show you what's up oh there are enemies over here what's up asshole <laughs> Oh shit, he dropped something. These guys are way low level. Oh buddy, you get murdered. Alright, so these things. So that is a drop. Unfortunately, alright, one thing that I have a complaint about is that, say I shot like that dude, like behind cover, you know, like picked off his head from like here. I would have never known that dropped. And with this mode, this is like the navigation mode. You know, it shows you like objectives and shit. If this could highlight things, that would be the fucking best. Because this actually happened to me. I fucking whipped a nade. And it blew some asshole up. And I saw his shit go flying. But I couldn't find it. It was strange. Ah, here. Perfect. I got an encrypted engram. So we're going to actually do that later. Oh, what's up, bro? Wanna hang out? No? You don't want to hang out? Alright, later. <laughs> ah, perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the drop ship shooting at me. Yeah, so for the most part, the guns actually feel pretty solid. Like, they have decent kick to them, and they're not... They, they, it's not a Call of Duty style where it's just kind of like, Oh, I point I point at direction, pull trigger, everything dies. It is still hit scan. Like, so if I'm aiming at something, like, the bullet gets there instantly. But as you can... It has decent uh, recoil to it. It rises a bit. It's not hard to compensate like that. It's really not that hard to compensate to keep your grouping together. But uh, for the most part, they feel pretty solid. The uh, the scout rifle in particular feels pretty good. Alright, let's swap shit. Even though that's my best weapon, I don't give a shit. Alright, scout rifle is what I started with. Alright, so the scout rifle is... Uh, it, it's your marksman rifle, basically. It's a single shot. Like, bam, bam, bam. Oh, I hear guys. There we go. Ooh, fucking popped his dome. It's fantastic. <clears throat> what was that? Oh, that's a thing. I'll get into that later. Someone just hit me. Oh, shit! <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Oh, yeah, so the other thing that this game has, because it is, uh... Like, I wouldn't say massively open world, but because it is open world, you have respawning enemies all the time. So, obviously, I just murdered everyone in this area, so a dropship came and dropped everyone off. Oh, that dude got fucked. Love it. Yeah, this this thing's probably one of my favorite guns to use. Fortunately, it's kind of shit, but that's beside the point. Uh, I definitely saw a man over there. All right, so this is single bet. And this, uh... Actually, I can demonstrate now how the, uh, the range system works. So the range system is... Oh, shit. Oh, there you are. You asshole. Get out of here. Blew your fucking head off. All right, yeah, so for the for the most part, the range system, the way the guns work, is similar to... Or it's not similar, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same as every Call of Duty ever made, where the gun has a maximum range, like, say, the maximum range is from me to this wall, but if I shoot at anything by it, if it's too far, it will have... Or anything beyond that, I should say, it will have diminishing returns, so you'll get significantly less damage output than you normally would. Which makes sense, obviously, like, the further away you are, the... Your bullets don't travel forever. Well, they do, but 
not in th not in this game. <laughs> in real life, they do travel forever. They just drop and go wherever the fuck they want to after a certain range. But uh, yeah, for the most part, yeah. And if oh, hey, look, perfect example: respawning enemies. A dropship is back yet again. All right, so because of enemies, interrupt myself and go to let's go to the uh, pulse rifle. So, yeah, pulse rifle is the burst rifle. Um, so for the most part, yeah, so obviously bullets after a certain, um, distance will cease to be useful. Like, I'm doing 18 damage to that thing from way the fuck back there. I run up to it and get within its effective range. Oh, actually, that is its effective range. This gun just sucks. <laughs> wow, kind of shot myself in the foot there. But yeah, as you can tell, talking about recoil and shit... This gun kicks quite a bit, and it's actually not useful for, um... Oh, get, what the fuck you hiding for? Dick. Yeah, it's actually not that useful for long-range shit. It's actually better for short-range because it fucking rises so much. You know, if you aim at their chest, you... Oh, shit, someone's dead. Oh, whatever. Yeah, so if you aim at their chest, basically, it makes it so that it rises into their head. Nice and simple. Alright, let's swap to, uh... A hand cannon here. So yeah, this thing's pretty fucking cool. I like the hand cannons. They're very, they're very powerful, but for the, but obviously their offset is that the fact that a it only has a fucking six round clip, six round mag. Sorry, that and they actually take longer to reload than more than most weapons. You fucking die. Yeah, even this thing feels pretty solid. You know, just just shooting it has a lot of uh, has a lot of oomph to it. Like, ooh, oh! I just picked a weapon up off of one of these assholes. I don't know what it was. Uh, we'll look at it later. But yeah, that's uh, I like these. But doing some testing between this gun and uh, the assault rifle I was doing. What the fuck is this guy? Yeah, doing some testing between the uh, that and the assault rifle that I had before. The other thing, actually, the Assault Rifle actually has significantly more DPS, even though they have the exact same damage output. Like, see, this thing, this thing says 45 attack. Now, what I don't know what that means, what that number means. It might just be a fucking arbitrary number. I'm not sure. But uh, this one had 45, then I upgraded it. But that's beside the point. But for the most part, like, this thing uh, has... I don't know, let's shoot this asshole. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, so I did 42 damage to him. Which is strange, because that is actually pretty close to it. And let's grab this guy and shoot this guy. That did 26. So, I can... So basically, what I'm saying is the fact that... With two bullets of the assault rifle, I do the exact same damage as one shot from a revolver. Revolver only has... Only does fucking... Uh, only has six rounds in the before you, before you have to reload in the chamber. This thing is 24, so effectively you're a doubling the amount of it, the amount of DPS with an assault rifle. It's kind of stupid. Like obviously the fucking the revolver should do fuck tons more damage. I think they should change the attack number, the arbitrary attack number, into a DPS because that would actually make sense. But uh, yeah, just something else that they can change. <clears throat> all right, enough about all that bullshit. Let's get on to uh, special weapons. So, I've been using the sniper, as you can tell. So, this thing does massive fucking damage. There's a solid 200 damage, and I believe the crits can get uh, a little ridiculous. Yeah, that did over a thousand fucking damage. And one-shot him. So, yeah, obviously, sniper rifle is uh, your best friend when it comes to long range. And, uh, yeah, it's good shit. Alright, hold on. Let me change over to... Um... My Schwat gun. There we go. Now, I... Now, yeah, the sniper rifle feels good. Oh, fuck, I don't have any ammo for this thing. This is the other thing I don't like. Hey, guys, have a grenade. Yeah, so, for whatever fucking reason... Uh, oh, hey, perfect, he dropped something. Bitch. There we go. Oh, yeah, so, each special weapon has its own magazine capacity, rather than... So, it has its own magazine capacity... And it has its own ammo pool. It's weird. I don't know what the fuck they did that. So, obviously, obviously I had ammo for my sniper rifle before. And then when I swapped to the shotgun, I have zero ammo. Like, what? 
What? I don't understand. But the pool from the other game, or from the other game, from the other weapon is carried over. Alright, so the shotgun is probably like the beastliest weapon that I have so far. Oh yeah, jetpacks. Uh, yeah, good? Oh, whoa. What the fuck was that? <laughs> he just disappeared. Beta is beta. Perfect example. So you run up on someone and it's like, what's up, bitch? Yeah, so the shotguns feel fantastic to fire. It's like, oh, <laughs> just fuck people up. It's, uh, it's kind of great. But the, the weird thing is that it's kind of like when you fire it, it's like now you're up here. So the way they did recoil is that it completely changes the location of your reticle. Which is a little bit cheaty, but I don't know, it works. It, it, it feels nice. If it gave it if they gave it a little bit more screen shake, you know, just kinda like make it make it seem more jarring. Ooh. Loot. You know, just make it seem more jarring than it really is. Rather than uh rather than just moving the reticle, like rapidly. That's cause that's what it does. Um yeah, it would just be better. I think I'll I think everything would feel better if that was the case. A little more screen shake on it. Just just so that it feels more ballsy. Alright, so, um... Alright, yeah, so I went through those two. Now, if you hold Y, I get the rocket out. And, as you might imagine, it's a fucking rocket launcher. So, uh... Yeah, you fuck shit up with it. <laughs> it's also why ammo is in rather short supply. Bitch. Out of here. Um... Fuck just hit me. Ah, uh, the fucking dropship shooting at me again. Alright, swap out to... Oh. Is that... Oh, it's another rocket launcher. There you go, get another machine gun out. Can you not do that? Oh, god damn it! I have no fucking ammo for it again. Ugh. Whatever, I'll search around while and kill things while we look. Alright, so for the most part, I believe everyone has... Like, I just jetpacked. You double tap A and you can fly for a short distance. I think that, um, I believe that is, uh, for every class, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure every class has a type of grenade and a jetpack. Pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, it's good. Because that's, it's not, it's not necessary to get around, but obviously it helps. You now you can climb on fucking, it's actually really useful because I was playing in, uh, one of the missions. There we go, I got some ammo. I was playing on one of the missions, and you could actually jump up to, like, a, a catwalk and get, like, a nasty vantage point. What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. Uh, apparently, my weapons is full. There we go. <clears throat> Light machine gun this bitch. Yeah. As you might imagine, light machine guns take a very long time to fucking reload. And, yeah, this thing feels good. Because, like, the fucking reticle's everywhere. It's got kick. And it's just everywhere. The fuck away from me. And it rapes people. <laughs> yeah, the, as you might imagine, light machine gun for a heavy weapon is kind of fantastic. It's good. Alright, so I just walked by something. So this shit, I don't know, I don't know what spin metal is. I believe it's a kind of material. Like maybe you can buy shit with it later on. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Just, I don't know. I don't know, it might, it might just be something that's not implemented yet. That's a very good possibility. Uh-oh, something's near me. Fuck. Off. Oh yeah, so if you didn't notice, everything happens in real time. There is no pausing in this when you're online. It is another uh, case of always online syndrome. Which is interesting, to say the least. Alright, you gonna let me fucking swap over now? Uh, which one? Which side? This one. Right? Yeah, sure. Let's go with this one. Um, what the fuck? It, it ate my special ammo again. That's annoying. Whatever. So maybe, maybe it doesn't drain from the same pool. It's just really fucking gay about it. Who knows? All right. Enough about all the weapons and bullshit. They're they're fun to use. That's there's obviously more selection that for the other classes that I haven't got to yet. And. Yeah, everything. The gunplay itself feels pretty solid. I I enjoy the gunplay. It doesn't it doesn't feel like Call of Duty where it's just fucking point and spray and you you kill target. It is it is a little bit more of a fire in short controlled bursts, 
with like the assault rifles and shit, and then you kill things. Otherwise, you're just fucking ammo goes everywhere. I like it. I think they did a solid job. <clears throat> uh, I'll do a, probably do a mission later, but for the for the most part, once you do the other missions, those are the only five missions that I uh, showed you before. And um, so when you're in explore mode, these things are here. The little uh, they're beacons. So when you go into the nav mode, all these shit on like the uh, like the stuff I'm looking at, these are different beacons and they're different uh, they're different missions. They seem to be random. I'm not entirely sure, but you kind of use it and then you get a calm. Very curious satellite readings on this area. The cryptarchs will pay for a ghost analysis. Apparently, someone wants me to uh, sense some shit. So basically, it's kind of like a uh, uh, something else did this. Uh, I don't want to say Guild Wars 2, but something like that, where you're just kind of roaming around and you stumble upon things, basically. Or you can actively go and like search for it, you know, stuff like that. Oh, you asshole! Are you behind this rock? Get murdered! Oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> He's fucking hanging around. Ooh, drop something. Oh, what? Hold on. Alright, so there's another thing that you can do. So, for all this other bullshit, you can, uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, whatever. I'll, I'll deal with that later. So, you can dismantle it. Which just gives you money. Which is strange. It's kind of like selling. It's just like, hey, you're selling shit. Good job. Was that scout rifle? Yeah, fuck this thing. This is the first weapon I got, so get rid of that. Alright, so grab this. Cool. So, I actually did not know that. I learned something today, that there is a maximum fucking, uh... <clears throat> there's a maximum weapon limit on shit you can carry. Or, not weapon limit, inventory limit. It looked like it was nine, I guess? So, nine shits? Whatever? Who knows? Yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so where am I going? Going in here somewhere. Oh yeah, so I do like this, the fact that the uh, the markers dynamically update. That is nice. So you can't uh, you can't get lost in these buildings because there. It's, I imagine it's hard to get lost anyways. But there are a couple like back areas, like secret areas and shit that you could theoretically get lost in. But uh, it's it's nice nonetheless. That and if you uh, watch on the uh, this is a grenade moment. Boosh, bitch. Yeah, they're like, how'd you like that flashbang? But yeah, so for the most part, like all the, um... Like if you look on the top left, my, uh... Whatever the fuck this thing is called. The, uh, the radar. Yeah, that one. It dynamically updates to the doorway. <clears throat> so it's like, hey, you need to go this way. You know, and as I get closer to it, you can see it move more. So it's obviously pointing there. Oh, oh, oh. The fuck are these things? I have no idea what that is. It looks like a mine. Just giant ball sacks of mines. Whatever. But for the yeah, for the most part, you get uh you get shit, and then over on the right it says plus ten. Those are I think they're called vanguard points or something. It's basically like a different kind of currency from your regular cash. The little those three little blocks that popped up for that's your main currency, and it's called fucking glimmer for some fucking reason. Like, I don't, I don't even know why. Why? It's like, it's like someone brought their fucking, their six-year-old to work day somewhere at Bungie. And was like, hey, son, what would you, uh, what, what do you, I, I need a name for the money. They're like, what, what do you think we should call it? The kid like, Glimmer! And he's like, no, don't call it. He's like, Glimmer! And it's like, all right, fine. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck money is called Glimmer. It seems a little stupid. You just call it, like, cash or just money or anything. Anything but fucking glimmer. It's so stupid. I was just call it fucking glitter. Uh, it's dumb. It's dumb and I have a problem with it. But once again, that's that's just my... Uh, me talking. Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do another beacon mission. Um, yeah, so the other things... Uh, like all the other missions. If you have one of the consoles... If you have anything, I think the... The beta is open for quite a while, I believe, so you can just go play it yourself. But for the most part, it's, uh, it's pretty solid. 
Oh, maybe if you don't even want to play it for sale. Hey, if if you if anyone asks for it, I'll play. I'll start a new character and play through a new class just for shits and giggles to see how it plays out. I imagine the story the systems are the same, but for any salvage you can bring back. We Ooh. need to understand our enemies. Yeah, so these missions are fairly varied. Oh fuck! The fuck just hit me. What just fucking hit me? You hit me? Don't fucking hit me. I don't know, where, where does it want me to go? Wiretaps collected. What does that mean? Do I have to kill guys for it? Ah, kill, kill scavenging fallen and search their bodies for wiretaps. Copy. I like murdering. Murdering's fun. Okay, we're good. 